Years ago, it all started with Agatha House of Harkness. Obviously, we were introduced to Catherine Hahn as Agatha Harkness in Marvel Studios WandaVision, our first MC Disney Plus show, and everybody loved her. She was a fan favorite character, and uh, I, I don't know if we really loved her enough to the point where we were like, hey, we should get a spinoff show, but we are getting one nonetheless, um, which some people are absolutely hating on. I, I'm one of those people that is like... I wasn't asking for it, but I mean, I'm still going to watch it. And hey, nobody asked for a Peacemaker show. That is one of the best things that DC has ever done. So I'm happy with that. But it's been confusing with the show because if it was first announced as Agatha House of Harkness, and then the title was changed to Agatha Coven of Chaos, and then it kept changing after that to Agatha Darkhold Diaries and a whole bunch of other names. Yesterday it was changed to Agatha the Lying Witch with Great Wardrobe, which was when we really knew for a fact that, okay, it's a marketing tactic that they're just going to keep switching the title. But why is that the marketing tactic? Well, that's because today at the Disney Upfront meeting, we got this big reveal that it was Agatha all along. Dun, dun, dun. We knew that. Um, it's not a big surprise. This, I mean, when they first announced the show, I was like, why wouldn't they just call Agatha all along? Well, they did. Um, so we have an official release date, September 18th. We're getting a two episode premiere, and this is the first MC Disney Plus show under the Marvel Television banner, which is interesting because, you know, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Agent Carter and Inhumans, all those shows we called Marvel Television. Right? And that, that's the banner that those were under. So this I don't know if this means anything specific because obviously with Echo, we had Marvel Spotlight and but that's different than this. So I my best guess is that this is just going to be regular MC Disney Plus shows going forward. So if they had this from the beginning, probably WandaVision, Falcon, their Soldier, Loki, they would have been Marvel television. But looks like Agatha is going to be the first one to start that trend. Um, we're also getting Ironheart in 2025. I didn't want to make a whole separate video about that because that was... I mean, it, there's a new logo, cool, but that's, I mean, we feel like we pretty much already knew it wasn't coming till 2025, but Agatha All Along from Marvel Television is coming with a two-episode premiere on September 18th of this year. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this news, this new logo, the final actual title, and uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Please drop a give and enjoy this video and hit the subscribe button so you can keep it to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.